a toilet seat, a pretzel or a turkey twizzler were just some of the less than flattering comparisons made about Princess Beatrice's infamous hat. But the royal has been hailed inspiring for how she handled receiving merciless amount of flack for the headpiece she wore to her cousin's wedding. Much like Pippa Middleton, the headpiece, which the 35-year-old wore to the Prince and Princess of Wales's nuptials in 2011, attracted a great deal of negative attention from the press and those on social media. A Facebook page titled Princess Beatrice's Ridiculous Royal Wedding had attracted more than 18,000 likes within hours of the Westminster Abbey ceremony drawing to a close. The then 22-year-old's hat, designed by respected milliner Philip Dreesey, was meant to resemble a bow but instead became the object of ridicule. However, King Charles's niece used the garment's notoriety to make money for charity. Princess Beatrice is more experimental with style but rarely wears trousers she sold the controversial hat on eBay for a staggering £81,100. Oh one a month after the wedding with the proceeds split between UNICEF and children in crisis. Writing on the auction page, the royal put a positive spin on the debacle and said, I've been amazed by the amount of attention the hat has attracted. It's a wonderful opportunity to raise as much money as possible for two fantastic charities. I hope whoever wins the auction has as much fun with the hat as I have. Royal commentator Rachel Birchfield, speaking on the latest episode of Podcast Royal released on Wednesday, said she loved how Beatrice handled the gross way she was mercilessly picked on. She continued, the York sisters, Beatrice in particular, they break barriers in ways that are more subdued that you might not know. They embrace their imperfections and that's really inspiring to everyone to do the same. Don't miss! Princess Beatrice looks unrecognizable in Victorian dress with sweet backstory, analysis, inside the touching letter Fergie wrote to Force of Nature King Charles, insight. Sarah Ferguson shares sweet throwback photo to Mark Beatrice's birthday, report, Ms. Birchfield's co-host also praised the princess, adding, Beatrice was like I'm going to take a situation where I got picked on and hate in the tabloids and I'm going to make something great out of it. One social media user also commended the princess for her turning a negative into a positive and tweeted, I liked her good-humored response in auctioning it for charity. The hat was ghastly, but Beatrice turned all the criticism to good use. Mr. Tracy, the Irish haute couture millier described by Vogue as perhaps the greatest living millier, defended his creation, telling Hollywood Life. Come that he had been inspired by beauty and elegance at the time. When interviewed on BBC Radio 4's Desert Island Discs in 2018, he said he had worried his head would end up on a stick in light of the negative publicity which he had not anticipated. The 56-year-old said, I thought I was making a little hat with a bow on it. I didn't realize that I was on American Idol or X Factor and that it was Judgment Day. There was a moment I thought I would find my head on a spike outside the Tower of London. It was a very modern hat. Modernity is always an unusual thing. i